I, I tell people all the time that we're the, worst, we're the worst owner we've ever worked for. We're used to being the ones asking the questions and, and pushing the process. And to be the one you know, on the other side of the table and having to make those decisions, we, we do see how that operates. So we're involved in many zero net energy projects. Um, most of them, the owner is not engaged in the process uh, to the extent that DPR um, were engaged in this process. It's the first project I've ever worked on where we were the owner and the contractor. Um, and so it was quite a learning experience for me. Um, I, I completely understand where owners are coming from when they're making big decisions um, on program, on what to do with their square footage, on um, what to invest their money in, on value engineering, all of these things, they really make more sense to me from an owner's perspective. Because it was design build and we were not building to any standards and norms that are typical, um, we were discovering as we went. And so at, at every step of the way, uh, every decision was based on, on, yes, we could take a risk and whatever occurs, we will manage that risk when the time comes. Designing to a net zero building is, uh, is quite a bit different from looking at uh, other buildings. Being an owner and occupier, uh, you know, they had to commit to themselves to, to uh, things that they didn't realise you know, would come so early in the design process. So that was a big part of this process was the discovery of, of what we wanted because we only knew what our ultimate goal was and we had to discover those steps in between. God, it's tough when you're your own owner. It makes it a lot easier understanding what our clients want from us when we go out onto another project and doing it for another owner. Mm -hmm.